We have heard that masturbating is something completely normal, but to what extent and how many times a day can you do it without being considered addicted? What happens if you can't stop? Let's answer these questions and why you should stop today with this act that seems normal but hides a trap for your life before. To begin, I would like to apologize for the exaggerated cover attention to this century that weakens and harms all of our young people and adults and leaves us without will in this video you will understand what happens with our brain scientifically and philosophically and what stoicism has to do teach us about this vice and how it harms our thoughts and remember to subscribe to our channel and activate the bell so you don't miss anything now, yes, let's start with the current medicine. It's quite clear in saying that masturbation is something completely normal, not only in humans, but it has also been shown in dogs and other mammals. But this view of normal masturbation was not always like this. In the past, it was thought that masturbation was something immoral, especially in the men, because the unproductive production of semen prevented people from being able to reproduce in the case of women. I know that masturbation could keep them away from men finding pleasure for themselves and without help added to this moral burden, the physical burden. They began to say that masturbation caused diseases, so it was not recommended to ever practice it. But let's go back to the present. Masturbation, especially for men who suffer from insomnia, what is known is that sleep induces the French Institute of Health and medical research concluded that the brain of men deactivates sexual desire after orgasm. The cerebral cortex area responsible for conscious thought goes into rest once the man reaches climax. And this, in addition to nullifying the desire to continue having sexual relations, facilitates sleep, which is why many men fall asleep after sexual intercourse. But which one is the problem? Uh, so, what is bad? Well, in one of its benefits, there is a hidden trap. And if you frequent this channel, you will see what I'm talking about. Masturbation liberates dopamine in your brain. This hormone is responsible for making us feel better, obtaining calm relief, stress reduction, and a feeling of reward. This, it is caused by dopamine and is so pleasurable that some people become addicted to the manual of diagnosis and mental disorders, incorporating a new disorder in 2017 called hypersexuality. Disorder. This typifies excessive masturbation under the category of obsessive compulsive disorder. That is another vice and that leads to destruction, mental and also familiar. Well, in many cases, you will not be able to control yourself. You become a slave of yourself and a victim of lack of control, thus seeking relationships with prostitutes, sex with multiple people, and as we already saw in a previous video, the excessive consumption pornography. These are ways that a brain saturated with dopamine find to obtain pleasure. Pay attention to the addiction to masturbation comes from chemicals released in the brain. And as our brain adapts to the release of these, it feels the need to continually find the cause that generated the stimulation. Your brain will begin to ask for more and more dopamine to get the same pleasure that it had the first time doing that you always have to keep looking for how to masturbate again. This reaches an exaggerated point when your brain realizes that the release of dopamine is excessive and it begins to block the receptors in an attempt to stop you. As a result, the person performs the act of pleasure. In this case, he masturbates but does not get nothing, frustrates her more than she already was, and masturbating excessively to satisfy that hunger for pleasure is exactly the same thing that a smoker does than ever. For someone who eats chocolate until they vomit, or even an alcoholic, at this point you must be have to do with this. Stoics, Senon from Ziege, Marcus Aurelius and Panio de Rode, masters of self-control and wisdom, approached the vision of pleasure and lust from a unique perspective. From the words of Epictetus to the intimate thoughts of Sneaker explored the depths of human passions, a legacy that still captivates us for the Stoics. Masturbation was not just a search for carnal satisfaction, but an opportunity to explore the limits of the body and mind they saw it as an exercise in self-knowledge and a path to true freedom in its philosophy mastery. Over the passions and worldly pleasures was a conquest that elevated the human spirit. Epictetus affirmed that it is not nights of pleasure but self-control that distinguishes a man. Well in this context, the ability to enjoy pleasure by understanding and containing it makes the difference in someone who has reached a higher level of self-awareness instead of being slaves of our desires 
we must be their masters. As Seca reminds us with his philosophical perspective, the Stoic reflection on masturbation is not it is simply about repression, but about deep understanding and mastery of oneself, which translates into the ability to direct our emotions towards a journey of conscious self-exploration. It lies not only in momentary understanding, accepting and embracing our deepest inclinations from the Stoic perspective. Every action has consequences, not only for us, but also for the natural order of the universe. When we allow ourselves to be carried away by our most intense desires, as in the case of uncontrolled masturbation, we lose that harmonious connection with nature. So, or Ada, because of the Stoics. We become prisoners of our desires, moving us away from true inner serenity. Compulsive masturbation can unlash an emotional whirlwind in our being where blame and shame and dissatisfaction become constant companions the Stoics teach us to control our intense emotions through introspection and self-regulation. When facing consciously our emotions, we learn to manage them in a healthy and constructive way. However, they encourage us to find inner peace within ourselves. The true satisfaction lies in our self-control and our ability to find joy in the simple and virtuous. Let me share a personal inspiring story. I know someone who used to struggle with compulsive masturbation, seeking momentary refuge in pleasure, but facing an emotional storm after each act, after immersing themselves in the stoic teachings and practicing self-control and self-regulation. This person experienced a profound transformation, learned to face their desires and emotions consciously, finding true joy in self-control now live a leaf of inner peace and authenticity without the bonding of momentary desires. The true satisfaction comes to live in accordance with our principles and deepest values when we allow ourselves to be carried away be a femoral desires. We lose a sight of what we really value in the life. Compulsive masturbation can distance us from our most noble purposes happiness, found in virtue and inner peace when we practicing meditation and mindfulness. We can promote the mental serenity necessary to resist temptations and face our emotions in a healthy way. Compulsion becomes an obstacle to mental serenity, dragging them and regrets away from the peaceful peace found in the self-control and moderation and hit that subscribe button. Your presence and engagement are what make our channel thrive. Keep watching, keep learning, and keep growing. Thank you.